Hey coaches, this is the smash concept out of 3x1. Okay, we'll start with the play side receiver, uh, receiver route combinations. Okay, this number one is going to run a hitch. Number two is going to run a now screen. Number three is going to drive his right up the field. He's going to run a corner right over the top of the hitch. Okay, now the back side actually is going to run a post. Now, we have a rule inside over pass block. Side over pass block, side over pass block, side over pass block. Now, if you got rush ends, these kids are going to have to hinge outside, take the outside rusher. Now, you could do a number of different things with this halfback, okay? You could have him just step up and block. If you got some, if you want to slide the protection and then have him fill this way, or you could have him actually run out on some kind of route, or what I would recommend is. Especially if you're an inside zone team or you run a lot of maybe zone read or you have a mobile quarterback, you could fake this. You could fake like you're going. I guess you could fake inside zone to the right. Okay? Fake inside zone to the right. Do a quick little right. Fake, plant, throw, look to hit this corner route. Okay? Most of the time the corner route will be open. Okay? If they're playing off coverage, you know, if you got an athlete here, you could throw it now screen. You could have the QB just catch the snap. Throw it now. Um, I mean, hitch, hitch is an option too. We haven't, we never really threw to the hitch, but um, it's an option as well, especially if they're playing tight man or he's playing off coverage. Okay, but um, this is very good against zone and man to man. And I highly recommend doing a run fake because you know that's gonna really draw eyes to him. If you just drop back and pass, these kids are gonna be more likely to, you know, be disciplined in their pass coverage, whether it's man or zone. So I like having a run fake. It puts these kids in conflict. And then um, that'll open up your pass game a little bit. Now, if you want, you can also, you could do the inside zone run fake this way, okay? Run it at your trip side, because then that'll really put these kids in conflict. These kids might get caught peeking in the backfield and then end up getting beat. Okay, so if you run a run fake at them to the smash side, you know, that, that may be the best way to do it, because it'll really make these kids get caught looking in the backfield and you just run right by them. Okay? And now it's important that this hitch, even though he's the third option on this play, or maybe even the fourth option, to be honest with you, um, you know, um, it's it's important that he really drives his route, plants, and then when he comes out of his break on his hitch, make sure he puts his hands up like he's going to catch the ball. Okay? We really want to sell. We need this quarter to really drive this hitch route so we can hit it over the top. Okay? But again, run fake at him. Have the QB catch the ball. One step run fake, you don't need the quarterback to exaggerate it, okay? Because he's got to, you know, catch the ball, do his drop, plant, and throw the ball. So make sure this running back executes the good fake, and then he blocks, okay? And then plant, and throw. And then, I mean, if they're rolling the safety over, okay, and you got one-on-one -on -one here, you could hit the post, or you could, you could widen, you can widen this kid out, okay? If their corner's here, you can run a quick slant on that side. You could cheat him back in. You could run a fade or, or any kind of vertical route, okay? If you like that matchup, you know, if they overload the trip side, you could, you could, when you have a good athlete here one on one, you could take advantage of that as well. Okay, I mean, the only issue with this play is, you know, you it is tough to block if the defense is really sending some edge pressure and a corner route is does take a little bit of time to develop, so that's the only thing. You need to be real good pass block. That's why I like doing a run fake as well, because it'll hold these guys. It'll make them bite on fake rather than just attack the quarterback. So, again, I'd recommend a run fake. And um, if they're playing off and you're getting a lot of pressure and you got a good athlete here, just hit the now. The quarterback, turn, catch the ball, turn, bang it out to the to the now screen. And let the her last game. Game. Her last time I saw her play.